Welcome to a lesson on similar triangles by angle angle, also known as AA. The goals of the video are to determine whether two triangles are similar by using angle angle similarity. But let's first talk about the third angle theorem. This theorem tells us that if two angles in a triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, then the third angles must be congruent also. So looking at this diagram here, this theorem tells us that if this angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle here is congruent to this angle here, because they're equal in measure, then these third angles must also be congruent. And that should make sense because you know that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So to determine the measure of this third angle in both triangles, we would take 180 degrees and subtract the sum of the two given angles, 79 degrees plus 47 degrees. Well, 79 degrees plus 47 degrees would be 126 degrees, leaving the third angle to measure 54 degrees, and this would be true for both triangles. And this is really the basis for determining whether two triangles are similar using angle-angle. Let's take a look at that postulate. The angle-angle similarity postulate tells us that if two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So really from the previous theorem, we know that the third angles would also be congruent, but this postulate saves us from having to determine the measure of that third angle. And remember, if two triangles are similar, corresponding angles are congruent, and corresponding sides are proportional. So just to review, the ratio of A to D would have to equal the ratio of B to E, which would have to equal the ratio of C to F. Let's take a look at some examples to see if we have similar triangles. Here we're asked to determine if the triangles are similar. And just because at first glance we have two angles in two different triangles and the angles are not congruent, doesn't mean these triangles are not similar. We need to go ahead and find the measure of this third angle here in this triangle, and if it does measure 34 degrees, then these two triangles would be similar by angle angle. So looking at this large triangle, we'll take 180 degrees, and we'll subtract the sum of 132 degrees and 15 degrees. This is 147 degrees, leaving the third angle to measure 33 degrees. So now we can see that this angle is congruent to this angle, but notice how neither of the two remaining angles would be congruent to this angle here in the small triangle, therefore these two triangles are not similar. Let's take a look at another example. Again, upon first glance, we may think that these two triangles are not similar, but that may not be true until we determine the third angle of one of these triangles. Let's go ahead and find this third angle of this small triangle this time. Again, because the sum of the interior angles would be 180 degrees, we'll take 180 degrees and we'll subtract the sum of 77 degrees and 23 degrees. Well, 77 plus 23 is 100, or 100 degrees, so the third angle is equal to 80 degrees. So now if we compare the two triangles, this angle is congruent to this angle, and this given angle here is congruent to this given angle here, so these two triangles are similar by angle-angle similarity. Let's take a moment and label these vertices. Let's go ahead and call this ABC. And let's go ahead and call this DEF. Remember, it's important that we list the vertices of similar triangles in corresponding order. So in this case, we would say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle, well, angle A would correspond to angle F. This would be 77 degrees. So we must label this as triangle F, and then angle B corresponds to angle E and then angle C corresponds to angle D. 
So the proper way to identify these similar triangles would be triangle ABC is similar to triangle FED. Let's take a look at one more example. Again, we want to determine if these two triangles are similar given that segment AB is parallel to segment ED. We know from our study of parallel lines, if we have parallel lines cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles would be congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle D, and for the same reason, angle B is congruent to angle E. So these two triangles are similar by angle angle. And we would say that triangle ABC is similar to angle A corresponds to angle D, so we'll have triangle D. Angle B corresponds to angle E, so we'll have D, E, and then of course C corresponds to itself. And we'll go ahead and stop here. I hope you found this helpful.